Hello and welcome back to Airbrush Ways. Today we're going to uh, leave the mini painting for a while and I'm going to do something that we tried a while back but hopefully this time in a bit more depth we're going to use ink, Indian ink to uh, do a painting on a piece of paper. Uh, but before we get into that I just wanted to explain to some of you people out there that maybe haven't tried doing this or are unaware of what goes on when I'm painting. I could spend up to maybe two hours actually setting up and airbrushing and everything else and getting stuff on the camera. Then I've got to take it inside and download everything onto the laptop and then start editing because we can't put two hours of video up on YouTube just far too long and for 99.9% .9 of the people it's just too boring to watch those bits even for a brand new beginner so I may spend three four hours in the house then editing to get down to a maximum of say 20 minutes of video as I've said at the very beginning when I started doing this channel, I'm not a professional, I'm kind of trying to learn as I go along and when I produce a, a video for YouTube, I'm doing what I think is the best that is either not too short, not too long, not boring, a little bit of interest in it and maybe technique and stuff that people can follow and if you look at my videos, from the very start we started by just doing a shape and shading and cutting out stencils, that kind of stuff. So I'm sorry if I'm not able to please everybody. Somebody said uh, um, I did a, a speed video and I should have put some sound on it or music or something. Uh, somebody said that the video was too fast and I shouldn't put speed video in it uh, so I'm finding it hard to please everybody so I'm just going to keep going the way I'm going and hopefully you get to like the stuff that I'm doing you see what I'm doing and it just gives you that bit of inspiration to go out and try it yourself okay so like I say I'm no expert I'm not professional I'm just doing this in the back half of the garage where um, I've set up a little bit of a paint shop. Okay, thanks for watching. So what we're going to do now is we'll crack on and we'll start with um, this Indian ink painting. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, so before we start, uh, I wanted to show you first off, um, I think I showed you this before, I've done this image with a projector and this is what we're going to airbrush. The first thing I want to do is just to let everybody know thanks to Tim Smith. If you look on YouTube you'll see uh, his um, ink airbrushing and he's the guy who I got on to. I've been watching him on there and he's given me or I've purchased from Tim this range of pre-mixed ink ready to go so it's everything from dark to a white mixture there's everything in there and the idea is I don't have to worry about what consistency is in the ink I just use them straight out the bottle so thanks to Tim for those um, and what we're going to do first is mask off around here where all the light white bits are on this helmet and I'll just leave the face and the two cheek pads that are in there and then we'll start from there. So this is how I'm doing it I don't know if it's right or wrong but anyway it's this frisket low tack mask I've just put a piece on there which is covering up where the helmet's going to go and obviously I'm going to use the craft knife and then cut out the pieces and then I think what I'm going to do here is um, bring up, I can see through the paper so I know roughly how much of this lower part I need to cover. I don't need to 
put too much frisket around and I can see the line there so I'm going to cut it kind of just on that line and then we'll put that on so just bear with me so there's the frisket and what I'm going to do just to uh, reduce how tacky this is I'm just going to place it across the knee of my trousers it picks up a tiniest bit of lint and that bit of lint just helps with it uh, it won't be quite as tacky oh. and that's not brilliant there's a bit of a line in it there but that's the next bit done okay obviously I need to do this bit up here so I'm going to uh, switch you off I'll do these two bits and then this bit on this side and then I'll bring you back in when we start to cut out then around the um, opening in the visor okay so I've just had a look back on uh, the videos that I've done in the past and February the 13th was when I last did a video about this particular thing so you can always look back on that to see what I'd done prior to this and now we're going to start it if you can see I've finished off the masking that we were doing I've put it all the way around the edges uh, I've used the craft knife just to trim off any big edges that were sticking out over the sides of the page I've tried to keep um, the overlaps to a minimum in places some places it's a little bit bigger uh, and what I'm going to do now is get my reference photo and just start to cut out and leave the dark bits in around uh, the mask and stuff and the face and then we'll start to think about the ink this is on the tablet what we're looking at hopefully you can see that um, and what I'm going to try and cut out now is all around the edge oops all around the edge of the black and inside of the visor there this bit this piece up here these these bits and uh, we'll start to fill it in this may not turn out great I don't know what's going to happen with it but at least you can see what I'm doing and maybe it'll give you a bit of inspiration to have a go at it yourself that I'm going to leave in there, that's the white on the edge of the visor so that's the dark bit that's going to be left there this bit and this is another white bit that's going to be left and that goes up to there
Okay, so you get the idea. I've cut out along this line. I've come in there so all the white bit is being left. Come across there and up this and then I've gone from that down and around and the same up this side and then I'll cut out that on that edge. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll also uh, cut out this dark piece here and this dark piece here and then what I was just going to do then was put a line in here and a line in here so that I can distinguish you get a good sharp edge between the face and the cheek pad <coughs> I'm also going to see if I can uh, leave in maybe this white line in here and then this second one and that will kind of make things a bit easier I think for me when I come to even if I overspray on it I know with the inks I can use an, uh, an eraser to kind of get the lines sharp but I'm going to try and do all that so leave that with me for a minute I'm sure there's no need for me to do every little cut with you watching and we'll get back to you in a, in a very short while don't forget to go and check out the um, the video on the 13th of February all right speak to you soon okay so I've uh, pulled out all the dark um, I've left the uh, actually I've left that top bit as well for now um, because it's kind of a different shade up there so I've left that for the moment I will take that out in a little while but I've just put in temporary two pieces on uh, on the face which leaves the cheek pads which are going to be darker anyway um, to uh, give me a nice crisp edge along here if you look at the reference so we've got this really crisp edge and what I want to do is make sure that I've got that in first and then I can take that off and hopefully I'm not going to overspray too much what I'm just worried about is when I do start to spray this if it goes over this small piece of masking that I've put in there it'll actually cause a line even though you'd hardly see it while you're doing it but when you pulled that off it would cause a line so I'm a bit worried about that um, but if I can get these lines in first I can always use one of the freehand stencils to uh, find that line so it, it'll uh, it'll come with a bit of use of these freehand stencils I'll find the spot where it kind of fits best and we'll use those to help out but for now I'm going to leave that in just while I get this line in on both sides and as I've been told we start out very light uh, even if you're going to go dark so I'm going to start off bearing in mind this is my first time this is the light mixture so this is the first time for using Tim's uh, ink mixes I've also just so I can clean out when I want to I've got some deionized water in a little syringe here uh, that's used for printer ink and I can just put a drop in there wash it off and hopefully now that means that no paint no thinners no nothing as they say in there so we'll put in a drop of light mixture and see what happens Bear with me, if it's a cock up I'll just be throwing it away and as I would do anyway I'm going to test on a little piece of scrap paper I've got on the side here which I'm glad I did because the needle's not sat properly so without pulling back I was still getting a little drop of ink coming through If you look from there I just open the chuck twist this round a few times and hopefully if there's any bits of crap in there it'll seat itself 
I'm not really pushing hard, I'm just twisting and then chuck back on. Okay, so big step, Indian ink and uh, let's put a drop in and see what it does. The other, the other thing I was just thinking is when I come to uh, when I come to do the lighter bits where there's hardly any ink what I need to do there is get rid of those heavy pencil lines You'll see I'll do that in a minute anyway. I'm about five inches or so from the paper. So we'll do this bit first and then you can see how I'm doing it and then we can look to uh, skip a bit otherwise you'll be watching paint dry or in this case ink dry. So I know this has got um, it's like a material on this cheek pad it's quite textured so I think before I go too far, I'm just going to pull some of this out. I'm trying this one. Little brush on the end of this is fairly handy. This is one of these homemade jobs. Definitely it gets like a lot of water. I see now when Tim does this why it takes a long time. It's actually laying this down is uh, a lot harder than um, just a, a transparent paint. I don't know how good this paper's going to be at erasing.
Okay, so I've turned the air down a bit more and I think that feels a bit better. I'll tell you soon enough. Pull out a few more bits, hopefully. not erasing as well as I thought it would. I think it could be the paper. Okay, that's the battery on the tablet going on me, so I'm going to have to plug that in and, and restart. So we'll see you in a bit. Alright, bye.